praise the lord dear children of god we welcome you to our online english service greetings to you in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ let's pray our loving heavenly father we glory to we give glory to your name lord we have come under your wings in your dwelling place to exalt your name to glorify your name lord you are worthy of all the praise and honor lord jesus as we sing praises to you let your name be glorified help us to lift your name lord strengthen us in your presence purify our hearts lord speak to us through your precious word revive our hearts help us to live a life that is pleasing in your sight in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah let us praise the lord let us exalt the name of our lord most high he is worthy of all the praise and honor amen he has done great things in our life in our everyday life he is doing miracles he is doing wonders amen how many of you agree this say hallelujah hallelujah he loved the world and he sent his one and only son jesus christ to redeem us from our sins hallelujah let us lift up the name of our lord most high the loving god amen to god be the glory great things he had done so love he the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life and redemption to on Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever 
sin may overcome us we need not to worry about it we need not to feel guilty of it when we believe on jesus christ when we confess our sins his blood will cleanse us from all our sins his blood will save us from our sins thank you jesus we will receive pardon from jesus name through jesus name we can seek the holy god through the name of jesus through the blood of jesus we have redemption amen that is the perfect redemption thank you jesus let us praise the lord oh perfect redemption the purchase of blood to every believer the promise of god to the wildest of under who truly believes that moment from jesus a Jesus you have done great things in our life. You have given us a new life in Christ. We are the new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. We are the new creation through Jesus Christ. Amen. Say amen. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you for lifting us up from the mire clay. Thank you Jesus. I just keep trusting my Lord. As I walk along, though the storm clouds darken the sky over the heavenly trail, I'll just keep trusting my Lord. He's a faithful friend. He's a faithful guide. He will lead me and he will never fail, fail us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Amen. Let us sing the Lord, sing the song. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk along. Amen. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk along. I just keep trusting my Lord. Though the storm comes dark in the sky Oh the heavenly trail I just keep trusting my Lord He will never fail Sing again I just keep trusting my Lord As I walk along I just keep trusting my Lord And He gives a song Though the storm comes dark in the sky Sing my Lord, he will never fail. He's a faithful friend, such a faithful friend. Such a faithful friend. I can count on him. I can count on him to the very end. He's a faithful friend. He's a faithful friend. Such a faithful friend. 
for being with us lord let's pray to the lord a gracious heavenly father we thank you lord we thank you for this precious day and time to worship you to lift your name <clears throat> lord we thank you bless each and every one who watching this prayer lord we hand over everything unto you lead us through your grace in jesus name i pray amen praise the lord 
ஹாலெலூயா கிரீட் யூ ஆல் இந்த மேச்சுலஸ் நேம் ஆஃப் த லார்ட் அண்ட் சேவ் ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் இட்ஸ் குட் டு பி இன் த ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் காட் ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆல் என்ஜாய் த வர்ஷிப் சர்வீஸ் ஐ பிலீவ் த அல் மைட்டி காட் அண்ட் த காட் ஆஃப் இப்ராஹாம் த காட் ஆஃப் ஐசக் த காட் ஆஃப் ஜேக்கப் த காட் த ஒன் ஹூ கேவ் லைஃப் ஃபார் அஸ் இஸ் இன் மிட்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஸோ டு நாட் வரி அபவுட் எனி திங் ஷர்லி தேர் இஸ் அ ஹோப் தேர் இஸ் அ பிளஸ்ஸிங் and there is a shows of uh, abundant grace and mercy in our life so be encouraged and be happy in the presence of god amen so today also i came with the word of god for you i am excited to share the word of god i hope you also be uh, waiting to learn from the word of god to listen the voice of god i hope today the god will minister to you so sit in a prayerful attitude and have a heart and hear to listen the word of god surely god will speak to us turn your bibles to first kings chapter 18 verse 1 and 2 your book of first kings chapter 18 verse 1 and 2 i will read it for you after a long time in the third year the word of the lord came to elijah go and present yourself to ahab and i will send rain on the land so elijah went to present himself to ha ahab now the famine was severe in samaria now people of god uh, you all know the scripture so i will explain some of the important facts uh, the truth uh, what god has poured uh, in my heart i will share to you hope this will help you and encourage you uh, your life God speaks to Elijah to show himself uh, in front of Ahab there was a famine strong famine uh, 3 years there was a famine uh, during uh, the reign of Ahab the reason of famine is people sin so god was so upset and god was so uh, upset and at the same time uh, he is also angry and at the same time he also a merciful god hallelujah god always he is main aim not to kill not to uh, not to destroy us his main aim god always want to prosper us god always wants to bless us he wants to send the rain to cure all the famine in your life in your nation in your family in your personal life too hallelujah that's why he says to elijah uh, he said you show yourself in front of ahab who is ahab is a king who lived against the law who always listen uh, the idolatry uh, who always listen is uh, the word of his wife she is like a devil the main reason uh, the nation was facing the famine was his her wife she became the idol worship uh, so the famine of, uh, the was so severe in the nation so the entire nation was expecting a rain uh, expecting a rain to pour in order to receive the blessing today people of god you also expecting some rain in your life the meaning of rain is blessing today country today our nation might be expecting some rain some revival rain uh, today you may be expecting uh, some revival some prosper of rain in your life your life may be living in a wilderness you may be walking through a drought a famine your life wherever you go everywhere you may be failing face yes so are you expecting a rain in your life today the god saying to you as god said to elijah the same word is speaking to you show yourself i'm going to pour a mighty rain a mighty wind yeah you going to pour the rain what you expect today itself how many of you believe that that's why in book of ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26 he says i will make them and the places surrounding my hill a blessing i will send down a showers in season there will be a showers of blessing rain means itself a blessing it may be in your finance it may be in your family it may be in your health the lord says i am going to pour a showers of blessing 
A Lord sees you as Elijah. Though as God is going to bring every rain in our nation through you, God is going to bring every rain in your nation. If you be a Elijah in the eyes of God, if you show yourself like Elijah, you gonna receive a great abundant rain, the showers of blessings in your life, in your family, in your nation, in your church, wherever you are. you're going to face the abundant rain in your life hallelujah can you say amen that's why in book of zechariah chapter 10 verse 1 says ask the lord for rain in the spring time it is the lord who sends the thunderstorms he gives showers of rain to all people and plants of the field to everyone this is a scripture prophesized about the rain of the holy spirit you going to see a revival of uh, rain in your place where you never seen before Amen you gonna the nation you live you gonna see a mighty revival the rain of god the revival of god going to shower upon mightily because whoever may rule us uh, whomever may control us but remember that the almighty god is reigning all over all the kingdom all over the uh, rulership hallelujah he selected you he got sees you as elijah through you the rain is going to come it will be a blessing rain it will be a healing rain it will be anointing rain it will be a harvesting rain it will be a revival rain come on somebody praise the lord yes i am going to receive the rain of god amen do you believe that put it in the live chat say i am going to receive the rain of god amen we going to see a big revival in our nation that's why in hagai chapter 2 verse 6 and 7 says this is what the lord almighty says in a little while i will once more shake the heavens and the earth see the dry land i will shake all nation what to desire by nations will come i will full and fill this house with glory and says the lord almighty before he comes all the knees will bow down all the nation will confess that he is a living god before that the whole world will receive the rain hallelujah the revival rain is going to pour out the uh, revival rain will going to touch every hearts and minds amen it is a right time to show yourself as like elijah to the city to the country to the family you show God says I will send. Can you say with me show I will send. If you present yourself God will send the rain. What does it mean? What to show or what to present? How to show? There are three things I'm going to say what we have to show ourselves from this first kings chapter 18. Are you ready? Number 1 show yourself as a witness. show yourself as a testimony of jesus christ you may be a christian for 5 years you may be a christian for 10 years you may be christian for 20 years you may be christian for from your birth so today in this world people wants to see jesus christ obviously we don't have any picture no we don't we don't worship with any idols so when they come the people the worldly people come and they ask we want to see jesus show me some photos show me some statues we say oh we don't have anything we don't oh, yeah, we don't worship any idols we don't have any picture huh? even we don't worship any cross so they want to see jesus do you have guts to say that see my life you can see my jesus through my life do you have the guts do you have that brave do you have that courage but elijah the prophet elijah has that's why god said you show yourself man that's why in second corinthians 2:15 paul says for we are god the pleasing aroma of christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing see we 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 are not here to show ah uh, jesus is there jesus is here no 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 we have to say boldly see my life jesus is in my life i am like jesus are the people seeing Jesus Christ in your life but Elijah showed himself as a witness to Ahab and there was a heavy rain see the situation was people thought that uh, Elijah was reason to famine so king Ahab said 
go and search and find that fellow and we will kill him people were searching the ahab servants ahab soldiers were searching and they were could not able to find elijah everybody thought elijah is died because the yeah, famine was so severe animals are dying no water uh, three years no rain means how the nation will survive because the israel people of israel will are living by rain alone so how they will live cattle don't have water to drink slowly years go by second year even people don't have water to drink but doctor says 45 days around i approximately more than 40 days we can live without a water it's difficult to live without a water so people are dying now so ahab sent to search the prophet elijah they said oh we cannot find any war in 1810 says obadiah says there is not a nation or kingdom where my master has sent someone to look for you but no one can find elijah so ahab came with conclusion that elijah is no more he may died in the famine everything was over and elijah came and showed himself to ahab with a good strength come on somebody praise god he showed himself as a witness now ahab said oh man how do you live how do you survive it means the god whom you worship is a living god ahab testified ahab saw the almighty god in the life of elijah amen people should see you through your life they see jesus christ by your life by your speech by your walk how many of you believe that because christ lives in us everything is in christ the christ is living in us so there will be no debt there will be no sickness there will be no poverty there will be no debt can overcome us because christ is in us so when people see us they should see the blessing of god the work of god the work of god the speech of god everything they should see through in our life hallelujah they should say the god whom you worship is the living god hallelujah are people are saying are they saying hey by looking at you i can see you are they saying no because we christians are not at all living a exemplary life today the word of god is speaking to you be witnessed show jesus and you will see the revival rain the blessing rain harvest rain uh, in your life once gandhi ji said i love christ i want to be like christ but i hate christians but when i see christians i don't want to be a christians because he didn't see anyone like christ why people are not coming to church a new people because of our lifestyle because of our wickedness because of our way of approach our way of speech our way of handling them they say oh we don't want to come we want to be as it is so be like christ show the aroma of christ through your life so show yourself as a witness as a testimony number 2 he showed himself as a challenger he challenged the people of israel the uh, ahab and also uh, prophets of ahab in chapter 18 first kings 16 to 24 if you read Uh, elijah came and challenged in front of ahab he challenged the people of uh, ahab come to carmel and will see you offer a sacrifice and let me also offer a sacrifice and which god provide a rain that god will be the god see he says you choose one of the themselves and let them cut into pieces and put into the wood wood and but set fire to it i will prepare the other bull and put it in the wood but not set fire to it 
then you call on the name of your god and i will call on the name of the lord the god who answers my fire he is god he challenged the people of the prophet of baal see you all majority i am minority you all that side but i am alone this side deal or no deal with courage he challenged the people and also the king do we have guts to challenge your relations do you have guts to challenge the nation do you have guts to challenge the sin the temptation at least your situations are we ready to to do this to your uh, your circumstances can you challenge your relations i will be this side i will go only to church even sundays i will not go to any marriage even sundays i will not go to any work do you ready to challenge show yourself he has given his own life eliza he is so zealous can anybody raise hand will do we have that guts hallelujah we always complain we always murmur we always speak against god we always go with the world we never stand for the word do are you ready to stand for the word if you stand for the word the word of god the word of god will surely will lift you up i promise you and i believe if you stand for christ if you challenge uh, if you don't if you are not compromising with the world surely god will lift you up from all your enemies at this time you might be facing lot of criticism a lot of uh people might be mocking you they may see as a joke when you stand for the word but when you challenge them with the word surely you will see the rain the showers of blessings surely you can see the revival in your nation the saddest part is today the church are compromising with the world whenever the elections comes when the nation faces the elections the the church should stand in the middle and should pray for the leaders but today the church is mingling with the world hallelujah we have to find church in the world but we can see the world inside the church so bad today the holy spirit is crying inside by seeing today churches today churches are built very large many pastors are spending a lot of money to build a church it is good we should have a good building good system today churches became ac are conditioned but we have ac but we don't have jesus inside the church as a church are we ready to challenge the world as a christian are we ready to challenge sin challenge the situations be a challenger surely you will see a great rain in your life hallelujah wedding at cana in john 2 1 to 5 it says when is time come he will do miracles but have to give our time to him see see he says when my let my time come let the people come to me i will do the miracle because they have gave all the time to others when it my time i will do my miracle hallelujah so always give a priority to god always give your first priority to god so when you fail to challenge the situations if you give more importance to god than your work you will be most utter failure see when eve failed to challenge the serpent sin entered into her life see challenging over sin and temptation is more important for adam gave more importance to eve words than god's word so satan may come in any form you can lose anything for god but don't lose god for anything i repeat you lose any you can lose anything for god but don't lose god for anything amen that's why romans chapter 8 38 
39 says for i am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither that present or the future the or any powers neither height or depth nor anything else in all certain will be able to separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus our god so show yourself as a challenger be a challenge don't compromise with the world elijah never compromised he was stood even he all alone even he is minority he stood finally show yourself as a achiever in chapter 18 26 to 29 and 36 to 41 See, Eliza is a great achiever. He achieved many things for God. He did what it says. He drew a line and he said, "You don't come this side. I will not come that side. You worship your God. And uh, if God answered by fire, then your God is the God. If my God answered by fire, my God is my God. It's a true God. He challenged and he achieved what he preached. Hallelujah." See that's why in 1st Corinthians 4:20 says for the kingdom of god is not a matter of talk but of power if you talk about a prosperity you live as a rich man if you talk about uh, prosperity god will bless you god will give you then don't go for loans don't buy debts huh don't preach what you cannot practice See, Elijah said, "My God is able to ready to answer by fire." He achieved that when he prayed. When they prayed first, "Oh God, come, ball, come, ball, come," none of the God came. Then Elijah said, "Shout loud! Your God might have gone for two." Huh? They worshipped from morning to evening. Finally, Elijah come came and he cut into the pieces. He kept the wood. He poured water and he prayed a small prayer. god answered by fire the fire of god came and burned the offering accepted the offering of elijah then elijah killed all the prophets he achieved what he preached show yourself as achiever if you talk about healing live a healthy life we can live without disease if we believe amen sickness cannot overcome our life by his stripes we are healed pain will come and pain will go said a uh, good one is bringing believers he goes as soon as we said we have a god who is a complete healer hallelujah do you believe that if you speak about healing live a healthy life be achiever preach boldly and live according to the word if you show yourself as achiever surely god will bring a great rain hallelujah so today the god is speaking to you show yourself i will send rain amen so what I have to show show yourself as a testimony of jesus show yourself as a challenger finally show yourself as a achiever surely you going to f- bring the great rain in your life let's close your eyes and look the lord in prayer heavenly father we praise you and thank you for the word master and today you gave the word from the life of elijah you said to elijah show i will send i will pour present yourself and i will pour the rain when he present himself as a witness when he present himself as a challenge when he present himself as achiever you gave a abundant rain in the nation in the life of elijah the life of people of israel same way lord help us to be a witness help us to show through our life we want to be a liver testimony uh, life of testimony life of exemplary through our life people should come into christ master help us to challenge the world challenge the sin challenge our temptation challenge our situations challenge our relations help us to stand for the word help us to stand boldly we should not compromise with the world we should be with the word master help us to achieve what we preach thank you lord for the word whoever listen this word let this word be a blessing to them let our nation let our family let our personal life experience the rain from your master the rain of blessings the rain of 
revival the rain that should change our heart and mind master thank you for the word in jesus name we pray amen let's receive the lord's blessing the father of god the love of lord jesus christ the sweet communion of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen let's shout hallelujah hallelujah may god bless you we'll meet you in another online service until then bye bye god bless you let's have a shows of blessing in your life